Hi guys! Hi, it's Sharon here. I'm going over the Q Kids requirements for being hired as a teacher. I know a lot of people have wondered, well, how do you even get hired? So that's what this video is about. There are only four requirements listed on their website. So let's just go over the four. The first one must be a native English speaker from either the US or Canada. So, if that's you, keep listening. The second requirement is you must have a college degree or are pursuing a college degree. I know, just wait. It doesn't have to be an education at all. So, my associates is in psychology. My bachelor's is in human services with a minor in management and my master's degree is in business. So I have no formal education in education, but I'm here, so you can too. The fourth one, you must have a really good computer. So it can be a laptop or a desktop, as long as it's a newer computer within the last few years, you should be good. They do have very specific requirements for their software and what kind of computers and systems that they allow. So I will put those below. Um, so I think that's all. So native US speaker from the US or Canada must have a degree. It can be an associate, a bachelor's, a master's. You can only have one. It doesn't matter. You don't have to have three. Um, but in any field or be pursuing one must have some kind of teaching experience with children, daycare, mentoring, after school program, volunteering, having your own kids, um, that is experience, and must have a good computer. Um, I know someone's gonna ask, so let me tell you. I have an HP all-in-one. It is called a Touch Smart 610. And so I can touch the screen and do whatever. It also has Beats Audio. It's kind of an older computer. It's a few years old, but it's really good and it has a great system. Um, you must also have a headset. If you get hired, you will need a headset. Um, this one is probably, it's a Logitech. It's probably like 15 bucks at Walmart. No big deal. I do definitely recommend while we're talking about it, getting a headset with volume control and mute. That way, um, if you need to cough or tell someone in the background something, mute it and you're good to go and you don't disrupt your class. So that's pretty much it. There are a few more little tidbits, but I will go over them in different videos. So just be a US or Canadian resident who are a native speaker. So it is your first language. Have a degree or are earning a degree in anything. Doesn't specify, so if, you, uh, if, you're, if you've earned a degree or you're enrolled, you're good. Uh, teaching experience, any kind of teaching experience with children. Um, when you do your demo video, uh, so they once you apply they're going to ask you to do a video. This is a one minute video where you're well now I believe it's two. You're going to do an introduction of yourself, um, explain who you are, where you're from, what type of education you have, why you want to work for Q Kids, and you're going to tell a one minute story. And so through that story they're going to be able to get um, your gestures down. They're going to be able to hear how you speak, how clearly and fluently that you do speak. So it's easy. Um, after you submit your video, they're going to ask you for your computer specs. They will explain how to take a screenshot on your computer of your specs to make sure that your computer meets their requirements. If you're good, they will go ahead and train you for um, your first um, demo and they're going to introduce you to the system, show you how it operates, um, they're going to walk you through how to use it 
and then you will go to training after that. It's probably a two week process. So if you have two weeks to go through this process, you are gonna be good. So I hope this helps. If you have questions, please leave them below. Also, please subscribe to the channel. And now you can look me up on Facebook, Teacher Sharon 7155 I have a new page on there. I am always on Facebook, so if you ask a question there, I will respond probably very quickly. So, thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye.